Hi, fourth graders, it's Miss Esland again. Today, we're switching gears and moving to fractions. Today, we're going to work on completing equivalent fractions. So find this page in your packet. We've worked on fractions a lot in third quarter, so this is just some review. We know that equivalent fractions are two fractions. They might have a different numerator, a different denominator, but they have the same exact value. So when we look at these two fractions up here at the top, I see 1 6 is equal or equivalent to some amount of twelfths. So, thinking about what I know about 6 and twelfths, I know that 12 is a multiple of 6. Which multiple of 6? Well, I know that two groups of 6 equal 12, so it's the second multiple. 6 times 2 equals 12, and whatever I do to the denominator, I have to do to the numerator as well. So, 1 times 2 equals 2. Therefore, 1 6 is equivalent to 2 twelfths. In the second example, we have 1 seventh is equivalent to 2 something. Well, thinking about the relationship between 1 and 2. Over here, I did the same exact thing where I said 1 times 2 equals 2. And whatever I do to the numerator, I have to do to the denominator as well. So 7 times 2 equals 14. Therefore, 1 7 is equivalent to 2 14 So that means that 1 7 and 2 14 have the same value. They're just different fractions. Keep on working for the rest of the page with equivalent fractions. Down at the bottom, you get to choose the equivalent fractions you would like to show that are equivalent to 4 12 6 9 and so forth. Have fun working on equivalent fractions.